it has to be the uh, the Manchester music scene in general. You know, you've got such a heritage with the Hacienda, Factory Records, Warris Project, Sankeys, and uh, you've just got to say like the scene here is next to none. And um, well, we both come from a similar background when it comes to the respective influences. I'd say you know early house pioneers such as Sneak, Armin van Helden, Daft Punk, uh, Fatboy Slim even. Uh, and you know when you throw that into the mix with uh, Timberland style of beat programming, which we're obsessed with, uh, you know you get something quite unique in the studio. Um, my best DJ gig, probably New Zealand. Uh, flew over. It was a sellout gig. Oh my god! People were trying to like get on the stage and rush the decks to come on party with us. It was just incredible. Sounds like mayhem. It was brilliant. <laughs> For me, I'd say um, Mint Festival a couple of months back. Uh, it was just brilliant. The sellout crowd, five thousand in our tent, absolutely going off. Mad ravers here, there, everywhere. Uh, followed, well, it's a double header. Dancing, so. dancing with wellies on top of the dancing stage. with wellies on top of the stage. Yeah, <laughs> um, just going a little bit mad. But for me, that was uh, probably my favourite to date. Well, if you were go, if you were to go through my iPod, oh my God, there would be stuff from cheesy pop like Pink and Rihanna, all the way through to Linkin Park, Link Biscuit, Missy Elliott, Timberland, and a wide variety of garage, mainly old school garage, Awful Dodger, you know, Zed Bias stuff like that. Each just there's everything on there. To be fair, I'm actually looking to give you an answer now. Okay, you've got everything on mine from like old school hip hop such as KRS One, Jurassic Five, Run DMC, uh, right through to house music, deep house, tech house. Uh, pretty much everything off the Dirty Bird label is in my recently played. And um, yeah, you know, right down to some mellow stuff like Coldplay. Believe it or not. Oh, that's easy, without a doubt, machine, and this is why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's something that we're just working on a bit of a bootleg for our sets of uh, Club and Stroke Booty Clap. Yep. <laughs> what advice? Um, probably just say, you know, stick to one sound, find what's unique to you, and. Uh, become renowned with that particular sound, genre, and uh, try and think of yourself as a brand because that's very important in today's music industry. So you've been listening to Ninjury, um, if you'd like to check out our music head on over to soundcloud.com forward slash Ninjury, you can stalk us on Twitter at We Are Ninjury, and you can find us on the Facebook as well. Peace. <laughs>